Hey, Best of US Agents, Carrie here. Uh, wanted to talk to you about something that I really want to impress upon you as the most important thing you can do for your business over the next year. It's branding, and I'm going to give you the reasons why it's so important, and it's so important that you get at it real quick. By branding, I mean letting the community know who you are and there's really four reasons you need to do it. One is to make your business more profitable and create an identity in the community. And this is important because we're going to have a change in the way search is done. Right now, if you want to search something, you go to Google or Bing or Yahoo and you put a search in. That's all going to change. Uh, in the future, it's going to be activated by voice. So what I mean by that is you're not going to type in real estate agent in Birmingham, Alabama. You're going to say, Alexi, show me a real estate agent in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, there's probably 3,000 of us. So Alexi's going to have a tough time. So the next thing you might say is, well, show me a or tell me about a, a Keller Williams agent in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, that brings it down to about 523. And that's, that's not good odds. So you have to then, if, you're, if your uh, agency is Cary Grinkmeyer Real Estate, Keller Williams, you got to hope that they're going to say Cary Grinkmeyer. That's not too probable either. So what's the next best thing? The next best thing is to have a brand, a brand that is recognizable. That's why I use Best of US Homes. I'm betting that I can, through uh, LinkedIn advertising, through uh, Facebook advertising, through direct mail, I can create an identity beyond myself uh, of Best of US Homes Birmingham. That being done, now Alexa can find me. Now Google can find me from a voice command and, and reference me. So that's why it's important that you at this point establish a brand that identifies you as an individual. Beyond, and it's obvious why that, that, that uh, is going to be important. Beyond that then, I want to, you to think about if you have a, a brand that is your name right now, and you're with Keller Williams or Berkshire Hathaway or whomever, what happens when you retire? What happens when you die? Your brand retires and dies with you. And all the work that you have put forth has no value. But what if you were associated with a brand that was transferable? It's like I was in the financial planning business. Uh, I built a brand here in Birmingham. I built a brand under as a mistake, but it was under my name. But luckily, I sold it to three people who shared my last name, and they bought it. In today's financial planning industry, everybody sells their business because it is transferable. Well, what if your Best of U.S. Homes Birmingham had a recognition in the community, not so much on Carrie Grinkmeyer, but on the concept of how they did things differently. Is that transferable? You bet it is. Is that saleable? You bet it is. Well, who do I sell it to? Well, maybe I grow it in such a fashion that I put other pictures on my website and these people become as representative of Best of U.S. Homes as Carrie Grinkmeyer does. Are they in a position then to buy my book of business? Well, what does a book of business sell for, Carrie? Well, in the financial planning industry, it sells for anywhere from two to three and a half times annual revenues. So if I have a business that is generating, let's say, um, $500,000 in income each year under the best of U.S. Uh, homes, Birmingham, that business is worth $1.5 million. Is that worth building a brand over? I think it is. Now, what if, what if beyond that, 
Best of U.S. Homes, Birmingham. There was a Best of U.S. Homes, Paducah, Kentucky, and Indianapolis, Indiana, and Iowa City. What if there were 250 Best of U.S. Homes across the United States? And they all did the same kind of thing. They all did videos at the homes that they sold. They all used text messaging to get uh, listings. They all showed up for their showings. They all did the same thing that was different than anybody else in any of the communities. Is that transferable? Might somebody in Birmingham, Alabama be interested in buying a Best of U.S. Homes Iowa City if it's all the same? Hmm, that's something to think about, isn't it? So, you're going to go to work today and you're going to work hard to get a listing, to service a buyer, and you're going to pick up a commission check. Does it end there? Does it have to end there? I don't think so. I think you need to be thinking more about building a business, building a brand, than selling real estate. I mean, yeah, you gotta sell real estate, but is it terminal? When you quit, is it over? When Alexa starts picking real estate agents, are you gonna be in the game? Hmm, these are things to think about. And you don't wanna think too long on it because it's coming quick. It's coming real quick. Uh, voice search is probably two and a half years away. I already do it. I, uh, I talk to my phone more than I type to it. Uh, I talk to my computer more than I type in it. Um, we have an Alexa in our house. It, it's, it's coming and it's coming fast. So I want you to think about building a brand. I want you to consider joining Best of U.S. agents. If we go in this direction, and I'm not there yet, I'm, I'm still honing my brand and my unique value proposition. I'm still focusing it down to where I can put it in a package and I can offer it to you. Um, but come to bestofusagents.com uh, register. I'd encourage you to read my book. I'd encourage you to like this video. I'd encourage you to subscribe to the, vi the, the, the channel because if we're going to do this, if you buy into this branding and this concept, we're going to need a conglomerate, a, a group of people that all buy into it and all are doing the same thing the same way and have the same commitment. That being done, we're powerful. That being done, somebody's going to come want and come and buy us. But as long as it's just carry in Birmingham, it ain't going to happen. I mean, I might be able to sell my business, Best of U.S. Homes, Birmingham, but it ain't going to bring the big bucks. And there's a lot of money out there looking for something innovative, particularly in the real estate business. Because guess what? That's a hard asset. It may be a little tough selling it today, but it's always going to have a price, and that price is always going to go up because they aren't making any more land. So think about branding. Think about creating a system, and I'd invite you to model it after the system I'm building. Uh, I think it's different. I think it's innovative. And I think it's going to work. I now get listings. I'm now running a advertising campaign on Facebook where I, you'll find it in my videos. And, and I basically come on and say in 15 seconds, um, this house sat on the market for uh, 15 months and Best of U.S. Homes sold it in, uh, in 21 days. If you want to know how we did it, click here and that takes them to a two and a half minute video and it, it explains exactly what I did to sell the house in 21 days. 
that is going to build. Uh, what I'm trying to do is find out how many clicks and how much money I have to spend to make my phone ring. Once my phone rings, I know now what it costs to get me a listing. I know that if I duplicate that, I'll get another listing. In fact, I'll probably get two listings because the fact that I'm constantly there and I'm constantly delivering a new message of how I'm different and how I'm better, it will build upon itself. It's basically the same thing that that lawyer's done in your community of building a brand. So that's what I'm doing. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, come to bestofusagents.com and become a part of our tribe. That's my wisdom for the day, and I'll keep talking at you.